tomorrow we are going on our first safari ever together. First one I ever went on, I didn't know Peter at the time. No, we knew each other. Yeah, we, knew we were each just other. co-workers at the time. <laughs> um, but right now, it's the night before obviously. We leave at 5 a.m. tomorrow. We leave at 5 and we are going to pick out our outfits right now. We want, I want to do like cute safari Dude, outfits. I'm just wearing clothes tomorrow. But we are super limited because all we have are the things in our one suitcase that we've been traveling with for a year. So we'll see what we can do. I think I'm going to wear this shirt tomorrow. Um, I'm going to button it correctly tomorrow. And I wish I had like cute khaki safari pants, but I don't. Such a girl. Shut up. Such a girl. <laughs> but I don't. So I think I'm just going to wear denim shorts. And then my top. I think I'm gonna wear this. I feel like this is like an off-white. It's like... Dirty? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's safari vibes. Um, but, so I have this shirt and I picked it up in India during Holi. I just like wanted an extra shirt and obviously it's like super stained from like the Holi colors. Um, so, <laughs> it's a women's shirt from H&M. So I'm gonna try to, to convince Peter to wear this. Hopefully it fits, I think it will. Because like for girls, it's supposed to be oversized, but for you, it's supposed to fit. I'll I'm not wearing this, but I'll try it on for you. Why not? Dude, no. Well, it's too Wait, short. Is, no, it's not. Yeah, it is, dude. I'm not wearing this. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> dude, I'm not wearing this. <laughs> Do you have something that's like green, like the color of your hat? I have my, uh, my shirt from India. <laughs> <laughs> Safari-esque. Yes. Most colorful. Now you're, now you're gonna look like a, you're gonna look like, like a tourist. <laughs> you're gonna attract all the leopards. Okay, that was kind of a failure because all Peter has is that green shirt. And all I have is this white shirt, so... I'm wearing a white long sleeve shirt. You are? That's what okay. I'm it's better than athletic, that green shirt. Athletic shirt. Yeah, you're not yeah. wearing that green shirt? No. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were. You took it out. No. All right, it is the next day. So much for our safari outfits. They look so lame. I think I'm pretty safari ready. <laughs> okay. We are in route. What are you doing? Seatbelt? Yeah, you have your seatbelt on or no? Click it or ticket, Peter. Ooh, funny. Imagine he drops us off right here. And we're, he's like, bye. We're goners. The leopards are going to smell us from miles away. You can smell our fear. Okay, I think we made it to the entrance of the park. And there are so many safari cars. And the, their lights are all on, so I think they're all in line. <laughs> So um, we are actually still not inside the park. There's a line of cars, but the sun is rising and we're having breakfast. This is so cute. Chocolate puffs, bananas. What's this? Eggs. Eggs, watermelon, a butter knife for the watermelon. Um, and then I think this is lunch. But the pancakes are so good. It's like a crepe kind of type of thing with coconut, like sweet coconut something, something <laughs> inside and it's so good. All right, we had breakfast. We are heading into the park. I think that is the entrance right there. And Peter whipped out the camera. First time we've used the camera in many months. I feel like this is very like so far cold. Hello! Oh my gosh, look! <laughs> Peter's like, that's a colorful chicken. Yes, yes. White chicken. It's a Sri Lankan national bird. Mm. The disrespect. <laughs> what do you call this? Not the sunroof, but the... Just the window. The window's been open. 
not fear in the bush. <laughs> oh yeah, he does look hairy. Yeah, I think uh, that is oh. standard. Imagine all we saw today were <laughs> birds and deer and a chicken. <laughs> what are they looking at? Maybe another chicken. <laughs> Would you rather be a wild boar or a Sri Lankan chicken? How many females to one male? A lot or? Uh, yes, group only. Those male one. Uh huh. Lots of females. Yes. So are those two males in his group or no? That he's like pushing away? Maybe? Yes, he's at that. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so you can see some of the leopard prints. They're from yesterday. So we are still on the hunt. <laughs> I think since there's so many cars here, the drivers all like radio each other and let each other know what animals are where. Um, and so it's like... Unconfirmed, but that's what we, that's what we think. Yes, because he's been on the phone this whole time. And or we've just, like... Or we're just talking to his Maybe he's just chatting it up with someone, but... I think it's helpful because it's so secluded, like it's not flat or anything, so you can't see that far. So it's either luck or like everyone helps each other out. So, okay, there's something up here. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crocodile, right there. It's a water buffalo? Yes, water buffalo. Oh, yeah. It's a water buffalo. So cute! Oh, it's coming! Yes. I think they're a couple. They're a couple? Yes. Oh, cute! <laughs> beep beep! The first kid looked so distraught. The first guy, he was like holding his little walkie talkie. He was like, no. <laughs> so this rock is called Elephant Rock. Is it shaped like an elephant? I would love to know how many elephant rocks there are like in the world. I feel like every place we've been to, there's been one, hasn't there? Not wrong. Look, guys, it's a water buffalo. Are those? Can those get fast? Yes. Yeah. Can you guys see that? Peacock on a tree. Okay, this is an eagle. Gray headed. Gray headed. Not bald. Oh, this is the worst safari narration ever. That's pretty cool. Whoa. So the female got the ick and left. He's right here. And so he stopped showing off. I said this is a big one. It's medium. And he's like, it's medium. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, this bird has a butterfly in its beak. Is the butterfly alive? Just eat it. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Safari is such an underrated activity. All you do is sit all day. It's so chill. It's so chill, and then they drag you around. It's amazing. Low effort, high reward. Is that? Very big oh, horn. Yeah. yeah. You can see very big horn. Peter's fully become a bird guy. <laughs> He's going to take up, bird, take up birding Birdie. after our travels are over. Show them your camera. Oh my gosh, we are booking it. Maybe there's a leopard. Oh my gosh, he's never joking his hat. Hold on to your hat. Okay, there's a car in front of us and they're booking it too. Those people. And so now I'm going to be disappointed if there aren't leopards. Whoa. This is so crazy. There's so much dust. Flash. Oh wait, there's a. Oh, that scared me. So close. My mouth is like crunchy from all the dust. <laughs> Water snake. Wow. No leopards. Um, you get waited for a little bit in a spot, and then leopard just decided to chill by themselves, not show themselves. Peter's like. I 
want your seat. I was like, okay. But no leopards earlier. We tried. We think we knew the area, but they just weren't going to where we could see them. So maybe later today. If not, Peter's gonna cry. Butterflies. I don't know if you can see them, but they might be migrating or something because there Why are, are there so, so many, many butterflies. Ah, I gotcha. To see the dog, Peter. The birds are like slapping each other. So we stopped for lunch. Two hour break, you're not allowed to take cars in the, in the park from 12 to 2. Thank you. We got our seats and our lunch. Okay, we just found out that Ruol's wife actually cooked all of this. Fire dish. Fire. Literally. It's pretty spicy, huh? Mm. This might have been the spiciest food I've ever had in my life, so I can only imagine how Peter is feeling right now. Surviving. So good, though. Now we're cutting our watermelon from breakfast while Peter finishes his lunch. <laughs> this looks so good. You know what's really interesting? Mm. I always like to see how far, how much of the watermelon people eat. Some people straight up like eat into the like green and some po people leave so much red. I feel like you would leave like a ton of red. No, I leave a like, little bit. Like half the watermelon would still be there. I leave a little bit of red. When I was little, my mom would take the peel after she ate it, like it would be like that. And she'd rub it all over her face as like a moisture, like a facial. Can you have me a slice please? Of what? Watermelon? Do, 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 do. <laughs> a fly landed on one of them. Imagine if I grabbed that one for you. I'm sure you did. <laughs> I would never, uh, Peter. Say on, please. Two, my, my mouth on fire. So so this is normal. So how much spicy or Sri Lankan high? <laughs> like, is just like all spice? Yes, all spice. Or, or. What, what do you eat? We walk to the beach from our car. Look at these little beach huts. Oh my gosh, baby elephants! So cute. They're so little. <gasps> they smell the bananas. Where'd it go? Right there. Oh. Thank you so much. Wow, save the day. Okay, apparently a leopard is coming. We've all got our cameras ready. Are they see him? I've never seen so many cars appear out of nowhere. <laughs> Look at this squad. coming our driver will tell him where it is <laughs> we made it back to our 
Bella. And the doggies are here to greet us. This is our backyard for the night. Look how beautiful. Whoa. That's crazy. Skip. Skip. Come on, please. No, no, no. Successful day today. Not a success until we skip in the surf. And here is our little villa. Dinner is served. Mm. Got dog. Dog. Chicken. chicken. What are these called? This is the uh, name is Swinger Papada. Swinger Papara. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're very good. This, this uh, it's like flour. Right? Flour. Yeah. Flour. Uh huh. Flour. Make it uh, some machine. Uh huh. After putting dry. Outside, uh -huh. in uh, some meat. Fry? Yeah. You guys were wondering if there's a bathroom on the safari. There's not. Um, so basically, you do get picked up at five. You do from six to 11 or 12. 12. Um, is a morning like session. Morning session. And then lunch is two hours. And so you go to like the outskirts of the park, but you basically just park like in under some trees and you have lunch. Um, and you can go to the restroom there, like in the woods or whatever. I would assume maybe they wouldn't let you out into the park, like out of the car while you're in the park, because you know you never know. But um, yeah. I think there's there may be a bathroom, but you'd have to ask your driver before going. Right. Also, so wouldn't risk it. I just didn't drink that much water, and I held it all day because I didn't feel like going in the woods. But Peter went like twice. Number one. <laughs> I took Pepto, so I didn't have to go to number two. Um, and basically the whole setup of the safari, if you do like the morning and the afternoon safari, is you get picked up at five, then you drive to the place and you eat breakfast while you're waiting in line um, in your Jeep or in your truck or whatever. And then after that, you have like a four hour safari till noon. And then from noon to two, you no one can be in the park. It's kind of like a time for the animals to reset, I guess. And then from two to five, you do another safari. Um, I'm really glad we did both because first of all, the, for the whole day, the driver cost like 90 bucks, which is insane because he was with us the whole day. Um, and also we saw our only leopard in the afternoon. So it was like totally worth it. Okay, now we're gonna eat. Goodbye.